What's common for all dogs is that they are such good friends to us humans. It's no different with these exotic dog breeds also. They are humans' best friends who come in various shapes and sizes as a matter of fact. Golden Retrievers, German Shepherds, Boxers, Bulldogs are some of them which we see every day in the local park. Yet there are many interesting breeds that are an unusual sight for most of us and can be called exotic. In this video, we have listed the 10 most amazing exotic dog breeds. Number 10. Catahoula Leopard Dog The Catahoula Leopard Dog is a medium-large, short-coated dog known for its many varied coats and eye colors and patterns. The word Catahoula is of Choctaw origin and is translated to mean sacred lake. Catahoulas are the only breed of dog to have historically originated in the state of Louisiana. The breed requires firm guidance and early socialization as they can be independent, territorial, and protective. Also called the Catahoula Hog Dog, they are used as stock dogs, bay dogs, three dogs, watch dogs, guard dogs, and of course, as loyal companions. Number nine, Afghan Hound. Recognizable by their glamorous coat and long limbs, as the name implies, these dogs originate from Afghanistan. They can differ in size depending on the different terrain they were originally bred for, the desert plains or the mountainous regions, with the longer coat providing protection against the cold environment in these latter regions of the country. This elegant supermodel of the dog world is dignified and reserved and is most suited to a large house in the country, with grooming unsurprisingly required every day. Number 8. Basenji The gazelle-like Basenji has a very unique yodel, which replaces the usual bark found in all other breeds. The first Basenjis arrived in England in 1936 from the African Congo, where they had been used as an all-purpose hunter, working by sight and scent. However, the history of the breed dates all the way back to the time of the pharaohs, with paintings in their tombs bearing a similar resemblance to the breed we know today, who is intelligent, independent, affectionate, and exceptionally clean. Number 7. Neapolitan Mastiff These dogs are oh so wrinkly. Their imposing appearance and suspiciousness of others make them frequent guard dogs. However, despite being wary of strangers, with their owners, they are about as sweet as can be. If you get a Neapolitan Mastiff, which is one of the more unusual dog breeds, then this is something to keep in the back of your mind. Number 6. Australian Terrier This breed is thought to have arrived in Australia in the 19th century and was used by British settlers to keep down rodents and other vermin. They have a typical, harsh terrier body coat which comes in blue and tan or solid red or sandy. Among the most famous people to have owned the breed have been the Queen's uncle, HRH, the Duke of Gloucester, and his wife, the Duchess. They are a typical terrier breed, alert, extroverted, and anxious to please. Number 5. Samoyed Originating from the Arctic regions of northeastern Siberia, the Smiley Samoyed historically helped the nomadic tribes of the Samoyed and the Nensi. They are traditionally versatile, having previously worked to herd and guard reindeer, pulling loads, and even hunting. The breed's white double coat provided insulation against the cold climate, and their flat feet helped to prevent the buildup of snowballs on the feet. Number 4. Tibetan Terrier While not a terrier breed, the Tibetan Terrier, part of the utility group, has been previously used as a herding dog for sheep. A breed hallmark is the beautiful and profuse double coat, woolly underneath with a long, fine top coat. The breed first came out of Tibet and came to England in the 1930s with an English surgeon, Dr. Greg, who'd been working at a hospital on the Indian-Tibetan border. The Tibetan Terrier is a loyal, lively, and good-natured companion dog. Number three, Cotin de Tuliar. This majestic yet small toy breed is, in fact, the royal dog of Madagascar, having been seen on the island of Tula for several centuries, although it was only officially recognized in 1990. 
The Cotan refers to the texture of the breed's hallmark coat, which is predominantly white, but can also have a few slight shadings of light gray or fawn apricot on the ears. The Cotan de Tulliar is lively and loyal, but also adaptable and agile. Number two, Bedlington Terrier. Another one of the particularly exotic dog breeds, the Bedlington Terrier, is a dog that sort of looks like a llama. These are small dogs with very distinctive features. Their sleek, curved back, curly fur, and little head are unmistakable. As you might guess, from looking at these beautiful pets, they are excellent runners. If they engage in a pursuit of something, you'll see just how fast they can run. Grooming for Bedlington Terriers is similar to that of other dogs. Number one, Puli. The Puli is also one of the older breeds on this list. It first popped up in Hungary a millennium ago. This was a sheep herding dog in the beginning, but today it's a rare luxury breed. Its coat is quite unique and reminds people of dreadlocks. The Puli is considered to be a happy dog because it has a nice spring in its step that looks like bouncing. They come in white, gray, and pitch black. Though, we do need to warn you that their coating does require significant maintenance if you want to maintain its look. Do you agree with our list? What other dog breeds should be on this list? Let us know in the comments. For more fun-loving top 10s, be sure to subscribe to Viral Bee. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you soon.